So let's begin again with the Kerbals and currently we have a science ship I think our science ships are down here, right? I wish you would just zoom in on it without going into the sector map sometimes. Oh, okay, uh, this one is actually here. So yeah, we can do science. Ah, uh, we had the the debris to science. All right. Uh, you don't have anything else to do, right? All right, you may research that project. You. Uh, you also seem idle. Uh, you've got a lot of projects to research. Uh, research that. Research that. Research that. And another science ship that's busy here. Can research that one. Alright. So all of our science ships are busy here. Which means they're not exploring out here, but that's fine because we've already got a lot of stuff to look at out here. Hmm. We haven't really colonized the Prophet's Retreat Gaia world here. Nor some juicy places. That has a lot of energy credits, for instance. And a potentially habitable tropical world. Moodstram 2C and 2D are 60% habitable for us. Alright, uh, this one uh, is a neutron star though. I would like to put something there. Is it? It's not within our territory though. I really need to expand our borders. How's our technology doing? Oh, we have no scientists in society. Jeez. Okay. Mm, I don't think anybody's free. Alright, we'll need a new person. Uh, okay, we can recruit. Alright. Okay. Well, I'll just have that one go ahead with the society research. Alright. And that increases empire leader capacity. That's okay, I suppose. Nothing too exciting as far as our research is concerned right now. Have we gotten battleships yet? I watched Thylord Root stream, and he had battleships, so I've got battleship envy. Okay, we've got Kerman's Junkyard Terrier. That's no name for a battleship, surely. Let's have a new battleship design. Just design our battleship. I don't need to build it yet. We're not at war. And I don't want a huge standing army. You know, that costs a lot. Okay, um... Lifebreaker, Soulbreaker... I think Lifebreaker looks good. A lot of small slots, though. I, I think uh, Kerbals would like the big gun. There's also a hangar slot on this one. These are two big guns, but I guess a mixture would make more sense. This one has the best mix, but it's sort of awkward. But Starbreaker sounds good anyway. But maybe we can have the big gun in the middle slot instead of uh, instead of in the forward slot. Though, I mean, when you think about maybe how a Kerbal would make a warship, they'd like the big gun right up front, maybe? Or two big guns right up front? Just trying to think like a Kerbal here. Yeah, let's go with that one. It just looks better. And then uh, we'll, we'll have the big broadside kind of gun thing. So Thrasher Core, or we could have like fighters. No, this doesn't make any sense. Uh, well, I mean, if we want the... Uh, can we have a hanger in the tail? No, none of the tail slots have hangers. That would be really good if we had a hanger in the tail. Let's go for the mass breaker so we can have a hangar here and then the big broadside kind of gun arrangement which means the thrasher core and uh, maybe an extra big gun in the tail or uh, maybe an assortment to pick off small guys. Okay, um, so that will be our first battleship. Pretty, pretty straight up sort of battleship. No frills particularly. Yep, very s straight, I guess, is the way to look at it. I mean, there's nothing poking out, that's for sure. Okay. Um, there's a lot of possible components. Let's get some reactors first. We don't have the best possible reactors. Well, let's just load. Um, we'll have... Uh, we should have advanced shields 
in all sorts of places. Uh, maybe, how will this do? That kills a lot of our power. We have an extra large slot there. That makes things a little bit better. Armor doesn't take any power. Now the weapons are going to take power, so let's see what happens if we just fill up with antimatter here. I don't think that's got to be enough to uh, host our... Oh, uh, do we have any... Oh, we have a scout wing here. We can put a scout wing. That actually takes power? Yeah, it does. 20 power. Okay. So... Sentinel point defense needs a P-slot. I haven't even seen a P-slot. This is a battleship. It should have some sort of point defense system, does it? Okay, but it, it can go in these S slots. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I'll maybe just one in the front, one in the back kind of thing. We could just go short of uh, of guns for now, and then when we get better reactors, then we can upgrade it. This will be our temporary design, but we're not going to build it yet. But I need a good name. Hmm. Well, heck. We'll call it the Invincible. Might as well start off uh, very ambitious. Ruler elected. Duneni Kerman is our next ruler. Energy credits plus 10%. That's handy. Well, we'll lose the benefits of our previous leader. Corvette focus. Science ship build cost is reduced. Anomaly research speed is better. Okay. Analyze the debris. Okay, we've got some progress there. And analyze more debris. Alright, uh, let's make sure the science ship continues to analyze debris. Lego land. Let's just go through our debris worlds. Analyzed. Kerbin is alright. New Moho. Construction. Uh, this can be upgraded. Uh, Jeb, we could upgrade this one. Research complete. We've got our Interstellar Kerbal Alliance. Sectors missing resources. I know about too many planets. Yes, we need to add one to a new sector. Let's see. And Tikim is where exactly? There. Debris analyzed. I guess uh, Rockamax is the one that I really want to send first to our sector. Okay, debris has been analyzed. Zero point power. I would really like to queue up zero point power as soon as possible. Oops, research. Um, explosive weapons damage. Droids. Unlocks army. Robotic army. Unlocks buildable population droids. But now that we've got... Uh, place to put our fighter and bomber wings we can unlock those or we can get missiles it would seem like Lana Kerman specializes in materials in which case we could go for the auto cannon but I haven't really started down the Research auto cannon complete. line anyway okay let's go with carrier operations first um, come on give me not point defense I want zero point reactor yeah wow oh it's almost done look it's gonna be done at the next turn. That'll be great. Okay. I'm, I'm just gonna wait for that, Research I think. Complete. There we go. Debris analyzed. Wait. Research complete, right? Why is it researching that? I thought we just got zero point power. Hold on. Chip designer. Yeah, we got a zero point reactor and everything. Makes everything so much more powerful. Um, I'll, I'll pop back. Ooh, plasma accelerator. Bonus. Barrier point defense. Yes, let's have those. See the advanced real guns there. 
still nothing better than space torpedoes. Okay, so why? This is the same thing. Yeah, let me just change that. Planetary shield generator. That's something Gemini will be good at. Mini shard throwers. Building cost minus 5% uh, certainly would be generally helpful. I, I, can't, uh, I don't know what level plasma cannons are. Hmm. Well, that, that technology costs quite a lot. Construction complete. Atmospheric dispenser. That reveals this satramine gas. I, I want her to take care of that. I wish we could have given this one to Gemni and had Lana do this one, but apparently it's not a... Well, actually, I guess I could switch them out. How about uh, Gemini goes down here and Lana goes up there? Unemployment? Unacceptable. Debris analyzed. Build more power plants. And upgrade our power plants. And build some more science. Okay, that probably settles that. More debris analyzed, and we saw how helpful that sort of thing was. We really need to analyze all the debris. Let's see. I think they're all done, though. Yeah, I think the time has run out on the remaining ones. Okay, so... What, where haven't we explored? Well, we haven't really gone up here very well. I think we have actually done a pretty good job up here, too. Yeah. It's actually down south. Uh, Zerk hasn't been surveyed. Yeah, it's actually down south that we haven't done enough. No route. This might be the limit of how far we can go with our current warp drives. I need to scrap these science System ships and get a better class of science ship that can bridge that gap. Uh, yeah. Uh, or maybe I can upgrade them. Can I upgrade them? Let's go to our home system and upgrade. Eve Diver. I want you to have Warp Drive 3. Science Lab is there. Thrusters are good. Uh, better subspace sensors. Probably not necessary. No, the ship design does not have enough power. So uh, well, we'll obviously have to fix that. We only need fusion reactors. Can we get by with just one zero-point reactor and dump? Well, we can't dump both of them, apparently. One zero-point reactor and a single fission reactor, which is cheap. Right? It's cheap. Mm, cost 5. Cost 25. Power generation 30. Power generation 10. Actually, uh, yeah, that's a lot cheaper, isn't it? The fusion reactors will be cheaper, and still give us enough. Preparing for ship upgrades. Takes a while, I guess. Okay, Antares, you've totally discovered all the things in Antares? Wow, okay, that was quick. So this is a new and improved type of... Yes, now we can go to that system. Very good. Okay, here in Vacredil, we will upgrade fleet. No, no, upgrade fleet. Yes. And there's a science ship in there. Okay, that's already headed in. That one can head to Vacredil. Okay, well, that's settled. Except this place has not been surveyed because it had bad guys. So let's send one of our fleets over to deal with the bad guys. Because nothing stands in the way of Kerbal Science. We're not gaining any influence because we're in this alliance. And we've also got all these frontier outposts. I think the best thing to do will be to colonize some places, but I need to give up control over Rockamax and possibly another place first. I think this is pretty well built up. I think it can... Uh, the sector can handle it now. 
I, I don't think I need to be so much of a hands-on type. Construction complete. Valentina Kerman is in charge of our sector, by the way. It's got three colonies now. Let's manage and add that to it. Okay. And finish. I guess we could add Sturil to it, too. Yeah, that'll save us some of our influence, actually. And we have only five worlds, so that's excellent. Oops. Hostile fleets detected. There we go. Where's our fleet? There we are. Get them. How dare they prevent us from doing science? I wonder if we're technic technologically advanced compared to the rest of the rest of the species. Is there a like? Uh, I wish we had a chart to show that. I don't think we do. We have to go like to each of the the um, the peoples and check individually, don't we? Fleet engaged. All right, here we go. They're dropping like amoeba. Okay. Alright, we have to investigate that debris, but otherwise this is done. Let's get the fleet back to Kerbin, uh, Kerbin so that it can uh, relax and not cost too much. Oh, we'll, we'll send it to Vacardil, actually. Hello, fleet. Oh. Another child know that we are the Stakashi progenitors, the chosen people of the galaxy. Respect our holy places, and we may refrain from annihilating you. Hmm. These guys might be the ones who are protective of that Gaia world. I don't know. The prophets retreat on that Gaia world. I don't know if that's the one that they're... Yeah, that one. Alright. You are proceeding... Oh, there's a, there's a place here. Oh, we can't... That's the Stakash... There's the Fallen Empire. And uh, that's the Stakashi progenitors. And given their proximity to this one, it's, it's probably them that we'd have to fight against. They don't look too tough. Hmm. Alright. Well, they're in our way now. But let's do some physics research. Incoming navigator skill. Oh, that's, that's like Dune. Space navigators. And do we have Spice? No, uh, Zro. Not spice, apparently. Enhances psi abilities, though. Sort of like spice. It's road distillation. Well, that's very interesting. I, I like the idea of having space navigators. I haven't done Ships any of the laser upgraded. stuff and shard thrower complete. stuff. Um. Ships sure. Upgraded. Seems interesting. Um, let's talk to them and see how strong they are. Oh, relative power. Their fleet power is overwhelming compared to ours. Okay, so they look small. They only have one world. But they're really tough. Fanatic spiritualists. Figures. Perhaps it is in fact time to build a battleship? Let me just verify that there is nothing more we can do with the Invincible. Oh, uh, we are uh, trying to get fighter and bomber wings. Yeah, we'll wait the 10 months to get those. And then we'll, we'll build our first Invincible class battleship. Okay, maybe we should build some colony ships to expand out here. Then we can shut down the frontier outpost here. Fleet upgraded, but we don't have any place to send our science ships. It's so frustrating because we're sort of penned in. We could get clearance to go through other people's territory. But where do we go? Probably here we haven't discovered yet, but that's a long ways off.
I think we should just colonize the areas that we can and focus on this first. Tropical World doesn't sound too bad. And I'll sort of envelop Vimas then. Hmm. Nothing interesting in Rimdur. There is a world here. Oh, there's some, a lot of worlds. There's a continental world, ocean world, ocean world, tundra world. And if we uh, get Canopus, then we can block the this Tebran hegemony. Yeah. Which sounds bad. Tebran hegemony and then there's Bokasheran hegemony. That doesn't sound good at all. Yep. So, the the main possible enemy, this fallen empire over here, is overwhelm, overwhelmingly more powerful than we are. And then, this is our vassal. We could attack this Tillanesi confederacy, or this Sejathari, Sejathari kingdom. Oh, hostile fleet's present. Right, well that's what you guys are there to defeat. Am I missing something? Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, Beldross Star State declared war on Verzak Union. Uh, they're not one of our allies, no, no. No, no Beldross Star State here. Okay. What are these blue things? Oh, friendly fleets, uh, yeah. Okay, um, yeah, declare war. Diplomatic proposal. Gagasi Consciousness wishes to declare war against the Bildros Star State. Uh, well, Felnal also agrees. I guess he'll give our fleets something to do. Alright, vote yes. Uh, wait, uh... Liberate planets. Seed Research planet. Complete. To Gagasi Consciousness. Well, can't we get something out of it? Oh, I mean... Uh, when I had to give something to the Philnol Coalition when I decided to attack somebody, they just want to liberate planets. Oh, all right. We have to stand with our allies, kind of thing. All right, new research: quantum missiles. Ooh, Gauss cannon. Ooh, armored torpedo. We need better torpedoes. Our torpedoes suck. Okay, um, Northfleet, Gagasi Consciousness, might attack us through Lyseria or something? Why don't you park it there for now? That's our frontier with the Gagasi Consciousness there. Oh, not, no, uh, Beldros Stars, Gagasi Consciousness is our guys. Um, it's actually the Beldros Star State that we have to worry about. We could send our South Fleet to their underbelly over here. So we've got a uh, possibility of colonize. We should definitely colonize this before this Tebran hegemony gets to it. Okay, so what's our closest place that has the ability to build a colony ship? Spaceport? Yeah, build me a colony ship. Uh, boy, that's a lot of things to look at. Alright, well, those guys seem to be in line with our, our values. Okay, our fleet should be on its way. Debris analyzed. Oh, what's going on? Resource, resource storage full. Energy credits. Too many energy credits. We need to spend on something. Well, time to build a battleship. Oh, we don't have the module yet. Spaceport upgrade. And I guess we should upgrade Jeb as well. So, is there a technology that could allow us to store more energy credits? We really need that. Well, once the colony ship is built here, then that will reduce how many credits we're getting each turn. But not actually reduce the number of credits we have stored. Debris analyzed. Hmm. Doesn't look like we've got any opposition whatsoever. So let's send in a sign ship to maybe research that. Yeah. 
That's the Beldra Star State right there. They're our enemy. Construction complete. I guess we'll have our fleet march right through their territory and see what happens. Complete. Okay, so now we've got construction complete, so maybe one of our worlds can do a battleship? Yes. Complete. Invincible class. Look at that. The the stock battleship is 845 uh, what you call it? Uh, cost the minerals. The this invincible class will cost us a lot more. And what's its maintenance? Nine. Hostile fleet engaged. It costs more than a colony ship. Okay, what's this hostile fleet engaged? It's gotta be. Ooh, that's their. They, they've got stuff here, all right. Wait, is that the hostile fleet? Yeah. Well, good luck, you guys. <laughs> I mean, I've got 2k, they've got less. Oh, wait. No, they don't. That's their hostile fleet. Uh-oh, we might be in trouble. I thought I was overconfident. Oh, uh, let's watch this battle. This is a huge battle between their main force and my main force. Well, not really. I've got my fourth fleet. Can Jenkin Kerman pull it through? It's looking rough for us, as far as that bar is concerned. But then, uh, their fleet is smaller. I think. Is it bad that I don't even know which ships are ours and which ships are theirs? Oh no, we're, we're down to... Two. Wait, wait, wait! Oh, it's our two cruisers, that's why we've got so many points. It, it's a lot of Corvettes, they've got all Corvettes. Look at that, it's Corvettes for days. They're like a bunch of mosquitoes. Retreat! No, too late. Ah, uh, Jenkin Kerman perished in the battle of wherever this place is. Fen Halor. Fen Halor will be remembered as uh, as an evil, vile place for Kerbals for centuries to come. Uh, can we at least do the science quickly? Please do the science quickly.